Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval Remake. Time to go into the Crystal Caves. A dragon, huh? Yeah, we can take him. Oh yeah, the magic longbow will definitely be good for dealing with these. Wow, even one shot some, that is really good. <laughs> Chalice is right here at the start. The ancient town of Melomead was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Wow, that was dumb. <laughs> To be fair, though, I could barely see that coming, so... Uh... I mean, look, it almost looks like it's a path going down there. It doesn't really look like it's just a sudden drop. <laughs> you guys are just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Oh, no, 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 you get back here with my magic sword. Oh, that was close. You know, I actually do want them to steal the uh, chicken drumstick, though. If I see another one, I'll let him. See, my friend uh, told me a trick. Yeah, here, you want it? Well, how do you get him to steal it from you? Maybe, I think it's only certain ones that steal them. But yeah, basically, there's two ways to get more chicken drumsticks. You can either uh, redo the ant quest, like the ant level, or um, you can let one of the imps steal it, and then you can buy back like a full set of them from the merchant gargoyles. And the reason we want to do that is because there's actually a trophy. Um, you need to... At first, I thought... Um, it's like, at first I thought you had to turn 42 enemies into chicken, but apparently you just have to throw 42 drumsticks, according to my friends, so... Yeah.
You know, I'm just gonna wait to do that, though. <laughs> Clearly these imps don't want to steal it, you know, steal it, and I'm just wasting a lot of health. So, yeah. <laughs> Best bow by a long shot. Oh, the puns. Tread softly in these caves, for an ill-tempered dragon has a lair here. See why I was looking forward to these to, to this level though. It's pretty. You know, it actually makes me think of a level out of Croc or Croc 2. Naturally, you could also think it, you know, it's like Spyro, because crystals and all. But it kind of reminds I mean, like not the design, but I'm just talking about the giant multicolored crystals sticking out of the ground everywhere. It reminds me of uh uh I think it was just called the mine. It, it was one of the first world levels from Croc 2. First game I ever owned, by the way, along with Gran Turismo. I'm glad I started with the PS1 as my first system. Where, where's that rotating crystal? It was somewhere. There it is. Okay, wait, what did I just pick up? Oh, okay, we gotta go face the dragon now. I'm pretty sure that's not something I should jump into. Oh, I'm out of... Out of magic bow. Yeah, Rhino Towers are pretty tough. Cave's a little crumbly. Well, he just went flying. Wait, did I chop him in half? What what happened there? Well, I'm pretty sure the dragon's just up ahead. 
I wish I had more health. Wait, no, that just dropped us back down here. Wait, did I get a rune? No, I didn't. I... I think I missed a rune up there somewhere. You know, I don't know. You know, maybe there is something up here. I might regret this. Wait, no, I do have to go in there. Alright. Oh yeah, here's where we fight the dragon. can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much, as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Oh, is he now? You know, I think the dragon's actually optional to fight. Not entirely sure. I know what you get for beating him, but it's like, I, I, I think, like, defeating him is actually, like, not mandatory. <laughs> No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, it is, it is, because I, I just remembered something. You actually, you need what he gives you for a level up ahead. But we can finish the level without beating him. I, I'm wondering if I should do that. And then just come back and defeat him, but... Nah. Wait, what am I doing? Let's just use the Dragon Gems, let's do this. Dares to enter my lair and wake me from my slumber. Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just going to give you a good hiding. <laughs> Whoa! Hello! I need to equip something other, you know, than that. Okay. So, I need to remember, I know you have to defeat him by making the roof cave in on his head, but it's like, I don't remember exactly how you do that. Probably with the hammer. Yeah, okay, yeah, when you smash the hammer on the ground, it makes the crystals fall. Okay. Th this should actually be really easy. Oh, 
Also, because this is a trophy for some silly reason. Wait. There's actually a trophy for uh, getting hit by a crystal in this fight. That's actually harder to do than I would think. Oh, not really. <laughs> well, we got one HP. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. Whoa, hello. No, ah. <laughs> okay, we'll get him next time. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, come on, that hit him. I just realized how stupidly simple this guy's pattern is. <laughs> well, he changes it up a little, though. Or maybe that was just randomly, like, really lucky that he just went, like, clockwise. Eh, it gets a little tougher in the second phase, definitely. Oh, there I got him. Yeah, best way to do this might be just jump around, just keep smashing things and hope you get lucky. got me there. Oh, I... Oh, we both died. 
Well, we didn't really die, but yeah. Here, take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. So, yeah, we got the dragon potion, which gives us the dragon armor. Which is this right here, and we need this in order to get through one of the upcoming levels. So, yeah, it actually is mandatory. Okay, then, so let's just go pick up the chalice. And we should be on our way out of here. Oh, let's not fall. Oh, no, no, no. They did not just get away with my magic sword. Oh, no, 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 no. You did not get away with my magic sword. <laughs> that was scary. That would have been a sour finish to the level if that happened. <laughs> you can buy it back, but it is expensive. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty! Come and see the last of the centaurs! Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero! Ha 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 ha! Hey, we're getting there! Oh, this open now. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. <laughs> I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. <laughs> Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. We got the lightning. I think that trophy's for getting all the weapons in the game. Alright then. So up next is the Gallows Gauntlet, and this is the level you need the dragon armor for. So yeah, see you next time everyone.